Welcome to day 10 of my 10 day challenge where I draw houseplants. Today I'm drawing this ivy. And can we just pause for a moment to bask in this folder that's filling up with uh, drawings from this challenge? Um, I find this to be one of the most satisfying parts of doing something like this, where you can see the evidence of all the progress you've made. Um, with that said though, today I could tell that I was starting to run out of steam. And so the end of this challenge has come at a good time because it seems like doing the same thing consistently for 10 days in a row is pretty much my limit right now especially for something relatively complex like this. Um, so this project was outside of my comfort zone in a couple of ways. Uh, the first was that I added this whole video and YouTube side of it, um, which is quite new to me. And so, you know, figuring out the workflow for that and choosing the, you know, just basic things like the music and the thumbnails and making that title card. All of that felt new and exciting. And then interestingly, about five days in, that started to feel easy and normal. Um, but then I started to run into a new challenge because I was running out of plants within the house and I was having to start to venture outside the house to draw. And I've done that before in parks and things, uh, but again, not in this format. And finding a place to sit and trying not to be distracted by the fact that people can see me and that there's a little more noise um, that was strangely difficult, um, and it really affected me with this drawing because I couldn't find a good place to sit, and I was trying to choose a time of day when there wouldn't be a lot of people around, uh, but I wasn't really able to do that. So there were, you know, garbage trucks going by, and there was somebody working in their yard across the street. And I was kind of propped up funnily holding, um, you know, my drawing tablet with one hand and then I'd put a cup of tea near my feet. And uh, so I found that quite distracting. And I ended up making a couple mistakes in the sense that I meant to draw one patch of the ivy. So the video that I'm going to show at the end and that I showed at the beginning as well, doesn't quite match the view that I ended up drawing. Um, and also, it, this was kind of a difficult drawing within the parameters that I've set for myself, which is that every drawing is kind of a portrait of a plant, and so I draw every leaf. So with this one, I was kind of brushing against the limit of how many leaves I can reasonably draw and keep track of. And I had to do some like careful strategizing about how big a patch of ivy I thought I could reasonably draw. And because, you know, if you draw a, a large patch of ivy, it just kind of becomes a, a blur and you can't draw all the leaves. And the hardest part for me is keeping track of which leaf is which. So yeah, this ended up being the most difficult drawing of the whole challenge. And it's given me ideas for, you know, ways to lean into this side of it more. So here's what I just drew. And here's the ivy again. And that's it. That's day 10. Um, I will be back with a roundup and what I learned from this whole thing in a few days, probably. So see you next time.